Hi, I'm Dr. Mark, and I'm going to help you sing and perform more like the top artists around the world. I'm a professional voice teacher, performance coach, and opera stage director. I've helped thousands of singers around the world learn the techniques and methods that got the top singers to where they are. Let's talk about what makes Leslie Odom Jr.'s live performance of Without You so awesome. Here we go. Without you, the ground falls, the rain falls, the grass grows. Without you, the seeds root, the flowers bloom, the chill. Okay, a few things right off the bat here at the front. So first of all, I have to say that this is not my first time watching this through. I put this on here because this is one of my favorite songs to listen to, especially when I'm on my way home and tired. It's the end of the day. There's just something about it that is so cathartic, right? And, and it's just gorgeous. And his voice, I just love it. I think it's one of the most beautiful, thrilling voices out there. Why? Because it's so expressive. It's so communicative and it's just so free and flowing. It's just gorgeous. It's just a gorgeous, rich, beautiful voice. You'll notice here at the start that he really pulls that placement further back at the start. He keeps it more aspirate. That's really huge because later on where we're gonna go, he's given himself somewhere to build to. He's given, started in this softer, more relaxed, not neutral, but calm-esque place, right? Not calm, that's not the right word. I'm not coming up with the right word. But in this moment, you'll notice as we're watching here, it's at a lower energy level. The key with having this placement that's a little further back, with having this more aspirate sound, you'll notice here that we're seeing a lot of these teeth still, even with that placement further back, even with that more aspirate sound. What this does is it keeps the sound from getting overly swallowed. It keeps the sense of stretch in there. So that sound and the air keeps flowing in a really consistent and clean way. The resonance still stays present, even though it's got less core to it, less clarity, less ping. It still is present and still is clear, which we love. The earth turns, the sun. Are you bored? Are you bored with watching him? He's not doing much. He's just standing there. He actually, he doesn't have a lot of exciting costume wearing. It's actually just kind of grays, right? But at least to me, it's still not boring. Why is it not boring? A, because it's authentic. The music isn't calling for him to move a lot. A. B, his face is so expressive. C, his voice is so expressive. What do we mean by expressive? means that there's a lot of variety. There's constant fluidity in the muscles in the face and with what we're hearing in the sound, meaning the pitch obviously is changing because that's what it's written in the duration, but not just those, but the dynamic levels, the colors, the beat has constant movement. It's not consistent 100% of the time. The pulse is, he's constantly moving around, but he's stretching the important words and robbing the unimportant words to give back to him. So we have this really rich lyric line there. We also have this consistent airflow going through this entire thing, no matter whether he's using aspirate further back placement or for more forward, a clearer or more engaged vocal production. That breath flow is still really consistent. So it sounds professional. It sounds like it's on purpose, which lets us kind of relax. And instead of judging, well, is that right or wrong or good or bad? We don't care anymore. We just forget. And instead it lets us think about what do we think? What do we feel? What's going on in him? And how are we empathizing with that? That's what I love. Without you, the breeze warm. The girl smiles, the cloud moves without you, the tides change. 
You notice that you he spoke right before that. It wasn't the you that he had at the end of the previous section. You that was kind of collapsing down. He could get away with that in the previous section because it was lower and is quieter. Here is you. It had more, almost a New York accent to it, right? With a little bit of teeth underneath. You. It keeps it a little more forward, a little more bright, gives a little more engagement to that voice, a little more clarity, a little more ping. This is important because where he's going with this is he's leaning into it more and more. The question is this, where do you feel your emotion? Where do you feel it? Do you feel it like anxious and up here? Do you really connect with it? Sometimes really down low, kind of like in your guts there? Or is it kind of high up here? Where is it? What he's tying into here is really important for performer. He's tying like deep low into those guts is where he's feeling those feelings. And he has this kind of suspense and openness, this connection. Think about it if you're just too kind of sigh. Yo, yo, yeah, right? If we have this kind of connection with our voice, there's this kind of suspension and outness, this, this fullness, this full body connection. And that's what he's using here. And he's connecting with that singing. This kind of connection with the breath is something that we have to have if we're going to sing healthy, loud, full, and especially in the middle higher registers. This is the kind of connection that if you're watching a really good opera singer, you're going to see them use. Same thing if you're going to see a really expressive, full-bodied, beautiful musical theater voice, pop voice, rock voice, metal voice, it doesn't matter. It's that same kind of connection that we empathetically feel and just makes us connect with our entire body. That's what's going on. Love it. Boys run the oceans cry. Okay, so, so far you're watching with the colors he's using, the dynamics he's using, the kind of vocal production he's using, meaning aspirate, balanced versus glottal. He's taking us on this nice roller coaster ride of a lot of variety and expression. The challenge here is, is making sure he's leaving enough so he still has further to go. We can sense here that he's not at 100%. He hasn't maxed out here. He's not singing his loudest, his fullest, his most connected, his most whatever. We still got a long ways to go with what this voice can do. It's really important to pace yourself over the course of the song. You can do this by choosing the loudest, most important moment of the song and then making sure everything is less. <laughs> Every word and note he's singing really well produced and pretty and perfect and completely consistent 100%? No, it's not actually. Some are a little under energized and the, the, you can pick apart and find qualms until you realize that the purpose of performing is not perfection. Because if nothing else, what is perfection? Well, it's going to be different for everyone what that looks like. So really what it comes down to is Am I being true and authentic to what my character is saying, what the music is calling for, and what I'm trying to express? And so even the non-perfect or even slightly ugly moments, they're important and they become beautiful because they're meaningful and they help us understand what's really going on 
inside the emotional world of this character, which again is also why him just standing there works. This is really mostly about him communicating what's inside this character right at this moment. So by us being able to just focus on his face, it also helps us do that. If he's moving and dancing and jumping around a lot, we wouldn't really be focusing on the nuances of what he's doing with his face and his voice. But because he is in this moment, we are, and it's gorgeous, the music allows for it, and it's just great. Without you, the eyes gaze, the legs walk, the lungs breathe, the mind shakes, the heart yes, the deep. Deep full body connection. Right there. So as you're aware of this from Rent, I won't go into talking about what it means or what it talks about. I never do in these films. That's not what I make these films for. There's lots of people who will talk you through that. What I'm talking to you about is what you're seeing, what you're hearing, and what it is that makes them awesome, right? So there are so many things that make this just stunning and moving, whether we're watching it here in this kind of concert or you're listening to a recording or you're watching a performance. It just is gorgeous work. It's gorgeous work because visually, it is so clear that he is living in that moment. He is in that character's mind, in their brain, in their emotions. It's moving because his voice is free to follow the emotions and what's going on in that mind so it can express them in a really nuanced way. Where no two notes back to back are the same dynamic or duration, it's just constantly moving and has this push and pull to it the whole time that takes us on this awesome roller coaster. I want you to notice, even when in this moment he's singing his loudest and highest, it's still not his 100%. He's got more in there. He's connecting with his body and being so expressive that it makes us think like he's working at it and straining at it, but I'm just not hearing it or seeing it. That's a sign of a really excellent artist, is that they always kind of s hold a little bit back so the audience never quite knows what their maximum is. That also means that they always have somewhere they can go. They can always take it a little further, pull it a little further back, so it can constantly be moving. As soon as we kind of hit that top line, that top ceiling, it by default then flatlines and gets boring and isn't expressive anymore, isn't as meaningful anymore. He's constantly moving and it's just so impactful and so beautiful. If you want a voice lesson, a performance coaching, or want me to work with you or your group to help you sing easier, talk easier, or perform at a consistently higher level, book a time with me at mrperformingartstudio.com, or you can find me at wizio.com and schedule a lesson or on wizio.com, shoot me a video comment or a type comment or an audio comment and have me listen to something and respond to you with specific feedback or to answer your question in detail. I look forward to hearing from you and to working with you online. See you next time.